Hello and welcome. This is another episode, and we are back with another mental car. And surprisingly, this one is also red, but it is not what you think it is. This is the BMW M5 competition. So now the five series is the car we spoke about in the last video, which is a very good car. Now the extreme version of the five series is the M5, which is the motorsport division, the M version of the car. Then comes the M5 competition, which is the even more tuned version of the M5. So this is the extreme version of the extreme version of a very good car. Yeah. So I mean, the five series turned out pretty well, and they've released the M the M line of the five series, and now we actually have the M5, and it's the track version of it. So I mean, if you just take a look at it, you can see how brilliant it looks and. one of the few BMWs that haven't been spoiled yet is going to that is going to say <laughs> it does it does look very good it looks very good and it is it is by far the car that they have it's it's the it's basically the gold standard of performance sedans basically and and it can do that because it is it is basically a sports car in a sedan's body if that makes sense Because it has the performance of equivalent to any sports car that you can find, and it has four doors, and it is a sedan. It has a proper boot. It looks very good, and it's just the full package. True. I mean, so if you let's say you just walk up to a BMW fanboy and you ask him what could be your most favorite BMW, they probably go towards the M3. I mean, M3 based on how the M3s, how based on how the M3s legacy is, but yeah. now I mean, <laughs> with the new recent upgrades the M3s got, I think I personally feel M5 has taken that crown right now. Yeah, I mean, you this is this is a car that you can drive to your office every day, and then take the same car and go to a track if you can find any, and probably race this car because it is it is the best of both worlds. It is it looks like a very expensive very luxurious business class sedan which it is it actually is that but it it has the performance of a sports car which is just fantastic to have in one package okay so you approach the M5 competition you open the door and you're going to find all the tech that you find in a standard 5 series but the way it's designed with all the M badges lying around and the black accents which you can specifically find in the M- in the M5 competition is what makes it stand out so i mean you'll have all the luxury with the bit of aggressiveness that you're looking for yeah exactly But, Com- comes back to the same business sedan and sports car crossover this is the kind of crossovers we like not the stand crossover not the bloated up hatchbacks yeah <laughs> But anyway, But then, speaking of which, this car is not priced like the crossovers that we know. This car is way out of league of the standard crossovers which we have. And please, do I guess it's pretty much it's pretty much worth it, based at uh, one point six one crores extra. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Of course, it's a it's an M car. I mean, it, it cannot be cheap. it has to be it has to be more expensive but considering the 5 series that we were talking about the m sport line starts at somewhere around what was it 72 the one we were talking about the 5 series with the six cylinder diesel engine that one started yeah. off somewhere around 72 lakhs so right this is more than double so you, I mean, non-enthusiasts and people who don't know what the M division of BMW is, or people who don't really care about performance that much, would probably never be able to justify why this thing costs 1.6 crores. But I think petrol heads like us will be like, okay, if we had the money, we would just be like, okay, take my money, give me the car. No M Sport line nonsense. I want the full M5. And of course, it's slightly more because it's the competition version. the suspension is tuned differently the engine is tuned differently it has a uh, different exhaust 
uh, everything basically to make it look a bit more sportier and as you were saying it has those accents and those black parts on the car which make it look like an M5 from the outside also so yeah probably right. makes sense the cost I mean, probably makes sense yeah i mean 1.61 x showroom sounds like a pretty sweet deal not really pocket friendly for those watching this video or maybe if it, if it is pocket friendly then good for you go for it go 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 buy it if you have one and a half one and a half 1.7 crores go buy one don't watch this video go but no but that the price thing brings me on to the logical competitor of this car which i am okay it's the rs7 the audi rs7 which i hesitated for a second because it is a car that i like so much it is just such a fantastic looking car i don't think i have seen in recent times a better looking sedan or of course it's the sport back the rs7 is the sport back which is it 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 just makes it even better it just i i think it's just better looking than a standard sedan sorry and it has one of the best designs that i have seen in a while it has just the most the, the most fantastic looking back end that i have seen recently in any cars and yeah it's i i if i had a choice between these two cars i would any day go for the rs7 just because of the way it looks yeah i mean if you if you watched our previous videos we spoke about design templates and how brands went wrong well audi is one of those brands which did not go wrong and instead they they've grown over time and they've nailed it yeah they've consistently been improving man there hasn't been there hasn't been a dip in with mercedes we saw like a slight dip and now they're back but yeah. audi never even dip man they're just going one better every time and they're just improving the design language and it's it's great to see but also brings me on to the other point about the rs7 which is it has a slightly smaller engine than the m5 competition it has slightly less power than the m5 competition and it costs a fair bit more it's about 1.9 slightly more I've than 1.9 yeah. 1.94 1.9 somewhere around that yeah so again it is not easy to justify that price but you have to like like share subscribe the usual protocol you know how to do it did we just spend more time talking about an rs7 in a video about an m5 competition we maybe did. we did yeah <laughs> that's not the ideal situation but anyway you it Here's just goes to show how striking the rs7 is you can't ignore it you can't ignore it it's more expensive but you can't you can't we have to end this video now now goodbye thanks for watching do hit subscribe follow us on instagram and wherever you can find us we will see you in the next video goodbye peace out